glory and honor to Jesus forever and ever. Amen. So let us sit in the presence of the good Lord. And today we have a promise word that is taken from Psalm 23, verse 3. Lord, you will restore my soul. All of you repeat together. Oh Lord, oh Lord you are the one, you are the who, one restores who restores my soul. My soul. He, restores my soul. he restores my soul. And he leads me in the right path for his name's sake. He will lead me through the right path. What is the right path? Right path is the path revealed in the word of God. That is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Because Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. John chapter 14, verse 6. Now, we all are going to be sanctified today in our soul. Restoration in our soul. John chapter 15, verse 3. By these words, all of you are cleansed and freed from sin. By the word of God, all of you are restored. Judas committed sin, betrayed Jesus. Out of that remorse and precog conscience, he went and hung himself. He didn't trust in the mercy of Jesus. But those who trust in the mercy of God, their sins will be forgiven and they will be restored. Lift up our hands and look at this crucifix. After David committed adultery, murderer, and concealed his sins, he cried out, Psalm 51, verse 11, O oh Lord, do not take away the joy of the salvation from me. O oh Lord, do not take away the Holy Spirit from me. But O oh Lord, have mercy on me. And he was restored. He cried out, Do not cast me away from your presence. And do not take your Holy Spirit from me. And have mercy on me. That's the prayer of David for restoration. All of you repeat this word of restoration. Do not cast me away from your presence. Do not cast me away from my presence. Do not take away your Holy Spirit from me. Do not take away your Holy Spirit. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Keep our hands down. What is the promise word? Psalm 23, verse 3. He will restore your soul. So those who are in sin, those who are in addiction, afflictions, and being wounded by sin, the Lord says, My child, trust in my mercy. You are, sins will be forgiven. Consequence of the sin will be shifted from you to the body of Jesus, and he carried your consequences already in his body. There is nothing new that he has to suffer, but in his assisting suffering, you are consequence of sin and suffering already included it is already completed john chapter 19 verse 30 father it is completed the penance that the sins you are going to do in future also provided that if you repent and take a decision to lead a life according to the word of god hereafter your sins and punishments are forgiven and cancelled do you believe it? Yes, sir. Those who believe, lift up your hands and look at Jesus crucified. And look at the blessed sacrament, Jesus glorified. Today's promise word, all of you will be restored in your soul. Amen. By sin, your soul is destroyed or disturbed partially or fully. But now the Lord gives this promise word, by my suffering on the cross. Your sins are forgiven, First John 1, 7, by the blood of Jesus, your sins are forgiven. And you are restored to your original holiness. Transfix our hands on our chest. We are created in original holiness. God has created us in his likeness and image. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 in his likeness and image that is being destroyed by the sin of Adam and Eve and sin and Satan deformed you so Jesus has come to this world to transform you into his likeness and image once again that's why Psalm 23 verse 3 given as the promise word Lord you will restore me 
into your holiness and you will restore my soul amen amen so relax your sins are forgiven there is no consequence of your sins in your body nor in your family there is no generational sins going to affect the believers it will not affect the believers in his death you are set free from the consequence of sin you are going to be restored today so you are cleansed when you decided to live a life hereafter according to the word of god that decision is needed you are restored to your soul the lord has restored your soul you are sanctified you are justified and you are healed spiritually 